Let's take the derivative of y equals x squared plus 5. Hopefully that is really, really easy for us at this point. So dy dx, the derivative, is just going to be equal to 2x. Okay, easy enough. Let me fade this out so it doesn't distract us. Now, let's take something very, very similar and say y is equal to x squared plus 5. But then let's square all of y. So that means we have to square this whole thing here. And now let's take the derivative. Well, the derivative on the right side, we know how to do that. That's a chain rule. So we, do, we take the derivative of the outside. Actually, let me do it a little bit further over here. The derivative of the outside, repeat the inside. So the derivative of the outside was this 2 coming down power rule. Repeat the inside, x squared plus, one, uh, plus 5, sorry, times by the derivative of the inside, which is just 2x. Okay, well if we did that, then we're actually we're going to mimic these, the steps on this side of the equation. So we're going to bring this 2 down. We're going to do a chain rule to this y. Let me show you. So it's going to be the derivative of the outside. Again, that's just the power coming down. The power rule on that outside. Repeat the inside. Well, that's just y. So actually, let me, let me make these parentheses a little bit smaller. Times by the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of y is just dy dx. The derivative of y with respect to x. So these two things should be equal. We just, we just did uh, the chain rule to both sides. We took the derivative of each side. And it turns out that, that they really are. Because here, you, you can see that y is equal to x squared plus 5. So this left side of the equation, if we just translate it back into x's, is just going to say 2 times, and then what's y? Well, y is x squared plus 5. That's what we did in the beginning you can still see that faded out bit. That's just x squared plus 5. And then dy dx, well we also did that in the beginning. dy dx is just 2x times by 2x. So you could see that these two things are really equal. So if they're the exact same thing, why would we ever want to write things this way? Well, we'll, we'll see examples of, of why we would want to do that in the future.